there are two things got me started. One was the information about MK Ultra, which event, which eventually came out in the church hearings. Uh, but the Shazam and oh my God, what happened? The files uh, got burned up in a warehouse fire. Who knew? Who knew? But there were several people after that who were able to track by finding money trails. So I was able to find information that way. This is back before we had computers. So I was on the phone. I was going through library stuff. At one point, I went through a dumpster dumpster digging up old newspapers. You know, I, <laughs> I had lost my shyness by then. And um, But that was the first thing that got me. I sense, because for those of who in the audience who don't know what MK Ultra is, it was started uh, after World War II because in counteraction to the Soviets, who were uh, supposedly, and I believe, I'm not, I can't remember the research now, but I think it was true, were working on uh, brain mind control. And The Manchurian Candidate came out of that, that marvelous book and movie. Um, and so MK Ultra, they tried all kinds of stuff to, to control minds. They were, it was really nasty what they did. And so it was really funny. There was a whorehouse in, uh, uh, San Francisco, where they were, where they wanted, it was a perfect setup for them because the, the ladies wouldn't report them and the Johns wouldn't report them. So they, they developed some kind of a spray or whatever they were spraying on these poor people. And the, somebody opened the windows and it was on the coast and the wind came in and just blew it all. So it's, there's so much fun, and uh, there's funny things that happen, you know, when you're trying to be so subtle and secret. But some of it was tragic. People's lives were ruined over it, too. So that was one thing. I was very interested in using that somehow. The other thing that I was fascinated by is how do you know who you are? How do you know who you are? Uh, when you look in the mirror, what happens? And you you see your face differently somehow. Or maybe that's not the face you expected to see. What does that do to you? Where does it come from? And that's basically how Masquerade started. It, a, a woman awakens, and she does not know who she is. Uh, and she has a, a gentleman there who's helping her to get her mind back. And she I don't want to ruin the story for people who want to read it. But that book took me three or four years to write between the essays, and I was working uh, I was uh, an executive secretary for a very wealthy woman in Santa Barbara, uh, which put money again, you know, to kit for the kids. And then when I wasn't working, I was writing that book, so it took me a long time. I switched agents at, uh, to Henry Morrison, who also repped Ludlum and Brian Garfield and Larry. Uh, Larry Block, a whole bunch of really Westlake, oh, wonderful, classic. I, and I didn't mind being among that company at all. Uh, and so he sent it to um, Dutton. He, he really liked the book a lot. He'd never represented me before. And he sent it to Dutton. No, he, yeah. Oh, who the heck did he? He sent it to Elaine Coster, who was at, was she at Dutton? I think she was. They had a Dutton. And uh, her, her, she had an exclusive. So her assistant called Henry on the day she was supposed to report. Said she's sick. She's at home. She loves this book. She wants to buy this book. Uh, she'll get back to you tomorrow. So Henry has not told me any of this. He wants to spring a big surprise on me. Little did he know what the surprise was going to be. So the next day, apparently, Elaine called him. And she says, I love this book. I want to buy this book, but no woman could have written it. So this was in the 90s. And in fact, a lot of the problems going on in the world uh, were sort of resolved because the Iron Curtain had come down and uh, the United States was the last standing superpower. And the New York Times quit running their weekly, I think it was a weekly column on uh, thrillers and spies, because nobody was interested in reading spies. Um, John Le Carre declared the uh, field dead. Uh, Ludlam started doing interesting, different things. 
I mean, it was just like they, everybody was dropping off the spy shelf. And here I am coming out trying to get published. And I'm a woman. So Henry turned around and sold it to Steve. Gosh, I wish I could remember his last name at Doubleday. He was the president of Doubleday. He never asked whether I could, was a woman or not. He never asked for proof. I kept saying to Henry, how can I prove I'm a woman? You know, it's just really hard. So, um, so Steve bought it. And then he abandoned me. He, he was going to do for it what he'd done for John Grisham's the firm. But uh, he got an offer he couldn't refuse and moved to Mayfair in England. And they brought it. This is the story of publishing. This is what happens. People see this nice, gentle climb and then, boom, you know, the top. And instead, what happened, a new woman came in. And you know how some managers, they like to prove who they are, their worth, by getting rid of the predecessors' projects and bad-mouthing them? And that happened. My book was scheduled to come out. And I, uh, the head of publicity was my publicist. I mean, I was getting first class treatment. And uh, then she came in and it was very unfortunate. She cut so much of the support and put it in a cardboard box and sent it to uh, Berkeley with a bunch of other hard covers to try to sell paperback rights. Because in those days, the houses, as you would no doubt remember, the houses. Uh, many houses were paperback only or hardcover only. And so I went in with uh, over the transom, basically, and uh, a wonderful editor there picked it up, fell in love with it, took it to Elaine, no, took it to Phyllis Gran. And Phyllis loved it. And apparently she took the cover off at the sales meeting because it was a cartoon cover and held the book up. And she said, uh, Doubleday really screwed this up. Let's make it a bestseller. And she did. Well, I have two books that I'm sort of working on at the same time, and neither one of them is. And the other one, interestingly enough, at least for me, is interesting, is a uh, a mainstream novel that I have wanted to work, write for a long time. I, I still have more um, research to do on that.